Hey guys, welcome back. Over time, your RV door may get more difficult to open and close. There's more to it than just the standard adjustment you have at your strike plate. So today I wanna show you a couple quick, easy modifications you can make to fix this problem. Now, before we get started, I wanna talk about the names of all of these different components so there's no confusion. On the door, this is your latch, which may also be called a bolt. And I'm sure all of you already know this is your deadbolt. The plate on your door around the latch is called the face plate. The plate over here on your door frame is called the strike plate. And the hole on the frame that the latch goes into is called a bore. Now, before you make any adjustments, the first thing I would recommend doing is picking up an extra strike plate. These are nice to have, these wear out over time, and the screws are easy to strip if you're not careful. I'll put a link down below to the most common strike plate, but if you don't have this one, it shouldn't be very difficult finding yours. The second thing you wanna do before you make any adjustments is to make sure that your face plate and your strike plate screws are nice and tight. It's not uncommon for these to come loose during travel. Tightening these may fix your issue right out of the gate. Also, never use a drill. Always use a manual screwdriver and a bit that fits snug into the screw to avoid stripping these screws. And the last thing I would do before making any adjustments is to check the vertical alignment of the latch and the deadbolt. A little trick is to mark the top and bottom of the opening and check to see if both are within those lines. This is rarely going to be an issue because if it is already, your door is probably not shutting or locking. It is worth mentioning though, because for everything to work that we're gonna talk about in this video, you need to have free movement of your latch and your deadbolt in that opening. Okay, on to why you're watching this video. Your RV door does not close or open as smoothly as you would like or as smoothly as it did when you first bought the RV. Now, if you don't have friction hinges, it's much easier to swing the door closed. But if you do have friction hinges, you're probably used to pressing on the door to have it closed completely. However, in either case, it should not require a lot of force to close your RV door. Here's the problem with the design. If you look at a door in a house, you'll notice the striker plate and the face plate are either recessed or flush. 99% of the time. RV doors, not the case. The good news is that since RV door hardware is not countersunk, it gives us much more wiggle room to make adjustments. You may notice scoring or scratching on your face plate. This plate should not be making contact with anything. Its only purpose is to support and protect the latch assembly. If you see this, it means it's making contact with the strike plate. You may also notice scoring on the strike plate. Now you should see normal wear and tear on the strike plate where the latch hits it. That's the purpose, that's why it's called a strike plate, but you should not see normal wear and tear or scoring on the strike plate anywhere else. So why does this happen? Things loosen up over time. You have expansion and contraction during different weather conditions. Have you ever noticed that your RV door is a little tougher to close when it's really hot outside? There's a couple different reasons. So what we want to do is move those two plates as far apart from each other as we can. Another thing this modification is going to do is reduce the friction between the strike plate and the latch, which will make closing the door easier and help solve our problem. Now the face plate can't be moved back it's already flat against the door but check this out this is a brand new strike plate and this is my current modified strike plate you'll notice all i did was reduce the profile to do this first mark where your screws line up with the strike plate for a reference that we'll use later then remove the strike plate and with a hammer gently and i mean gently flatten out the raised profile of the ends of the plate do not flatten out the front lip or the lip that extends into the bore this will only take gentle taps with the hammer to flatten out the plate and it will not compromise the strength of the plate after flattening out the profile you can straighten the ends if necessary with pliers but when you're done you want to have your plate as straight as possible some of you diy guys might be saying to yourself well i'm flattening out the plate which is essentially also moving the tabs where the screws go in. If that becomes an issue, you can just bore out the holes just a tiny little bit so you can get the screws back in. But in my personal experience, flattening out this plate does not provide enough displacement so that you can't get the screws back in. And this is not going to affect your door from closing properly because we're not moving the position of the latch and we're not moving the position of the bore. All we are doing is moving the striker plate away from the face plate so they don't make contact. And as I mentioned earlier, less of the latch will hit the strike plate, which will cause less friction when you're closing the door and less wear and tear on your latch. Reinstall your strike plate using your reference marks and close your door. Most of you will notice that your door is probably closing much easier at this point, but if it's not and you're still unhappy with how the door closes or opens, let's move to the next step. This next adjustment is going to do two things. It's going to help if your door is still a little tough to open and close. Plus, it's going to help if your door handle is a little bit stiff to open up while the door is closed versus when it's open. This is caused because the strike plate is so far into the RV that the door has to really squeeze on the seals 
for the latch to go into the bore. And once that door is closed, all that constant pressure is pushing that latch back against the strike plate, which is causing friction and making the handle hard to open. This is a simple adjustment of loosening the screws and sliding the striker plate away from the RV. Doing this allows the latch to travel less distance before it reaches the bore, so it's not putting as much pressure on your seals. Something to remember as you move your strike plate away from the RV, you are putting less pressure on the door seals. It might be an adjustment you have to make a couple times, but you're gonna need to find that happy medium between crushing the seals enough to keep the elements out, but being able to open your handle reasonably easy. There is one more issue that you may have, but for now, let's finish up everything that we've done with a little bit of lubrication. I use Bow Shield T9. It's the best all around lubricant you can buy for an RV in my personal experience. Just spray a little inside the latch assembly while moving the latch. Don't forget to lube the door hinges as well. Okay, so I wanna talk about one more issue that I think maybe some of you might have questions on and wondering if you have bent hinges. I don't think you're gonna have an issue with twisted or bent hinges. Not to say that it can't happen, but it is pretty rare. On top of that, RV hinges are many times riveted to the door frame, and that makes for a much more complicated adjustment process. And that's a totally different video. And remember, if what we did today doesn't work on your RV, you have your backup strike plate, go ahead and put that in and leave us a comment down below with what you're experiencing and hopefully someone could answer your question. Hope this video helped you guys. We got some big things coming in 2024 on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.